started popping from there, you know, 10, 15, 20, this is like $20 a day, $30 a day, 37, 50, 60. Hello, hello, welcome to Money KC. This is Hank. Today I will be doing a video on site review. So site review of some of the top earning affiliate sites or niche sites out there that you can maybe learn from and copycat a little bit of the way that they do things. So there's plenty of information out there. It's all on the page one of Google. All you have to do is do a quick search of this on Google. So, so as I said, so this um, income is continually growing week by week and then uh, now we're almost to $11,000 a month. So as I said earlier that we will be reviewing some sites. So follow me, hit that subscribe button. So hit, follow me, uh, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification and like this video and leave any questions and comments that you may have for me that I may address and answer. Uh, and also watch all the way to the end of this video uh, to get uh, the full insight on this. And I will try to address any questions at the end of this video in the FAQs. Okay, so let's uh, come into our first site that we will review. Uh, so this site, as I pointed out earlier in some previous videos, uh, that this is a site uh, that is dealing with a uh, gear um, so how do you how do you how do you get um, how do you search for this kind of site? So let me do a quick Google search for you, for example. Okay, so I'm just gonna do something real quick. I'm just gonna do best outdoor gear. Okay, so normally it comes up with a whole bunch of um, see a whole bunch of like uh, um, sites uh, that. That are reviewing products. So you can see this one is a site that's reviewing product. And then uh, REI is a store. And then Gear Patrol, I think it might be a brand. I'm not sure if it is or not. But I think, um, oh, this one, the first option that came up was this one. So that's the one I click. And so here it is. This is Gear Review, uh, Outdoor Gear Review. Uh, that's the site. So as you can see, the way the site is structured, it has a whole bunch of topics it covers. It covers men's and women's and footwear, camping, climbing, biking, snowing, pedaling, fitness. So it's a very large topic of different things. So as you can see, the, the way the way they organize the site is that you know they have a camping, men's, and then they have a bunch of like you know example articles or maybe recent articles related to it, and they're just reviewing a lot of different things. Let's just I'm gonna click into one of these articles. Let's do uh, this one: best hiking boots of 2020. Um, and just look at this article and you can see that they you know have a image on the top very simple site with no ads and then they have a maybe a quick intro with a lot of interlinking to different um, as you can see on the bottom uh, right here a bunch of uh, links to the different other products that they are reviewing so there's a lot of this interlinking uh, to the specific product so okay here you can see it's linking to another review product another review uh, another review and I think and they link this to oh so this is using a link let's see where it goes so let's see where we can buy this okay so link into another site so this is a, a site that probably is an affiliate of theirs that it's not really Amazon they might be getting a lot more commission through this site uh, than the Amazon okay and then I think this side let's click on this one okay this one goes to Amazon so it looks like they mix it up. They go, some go to Amazon and some goes to uh, some other affiliates. So okay, so look at the way they review it. It's um, it's very clean and crisp. Of course, we can't. Sometimes we cannot make these graphics the way that it, uh, they do it. Uh, but it's always um, good to try to look at the quality that we have, can aspire to, and then we copy, and copy, and learn from. Right. So the best way to learn is actually to learn from what is successful out there. And learn what the successful people are doing, and we can imitate, um, uh, imitate, and uh, learn how to improve the way that we do stuff. So look, like they have all the reviews on the top, and also now they have the ratings uh, with the pricing, and then they have a um, a little section on why you should trust us, and a little bit of the way they analyze this, and uh, 
lot of graphs. So this is very detailed, so they spend a lot of time on. So we may not be able to do the same exact thing because this requires a lot of intense research. Um, but, um, but we can take elements of things that we can do for now and then apply it to our own websites that we are doing. All right. So look at this. This is a very detailed. It talks about everything, every specifics, you know. So, so I'm not going to go, you know, this is very in-depth. So sometimes some people say that we need to pay attention to word count and the way these things are structured. But the, the best way is to actually organize it in a way that is good for the reader. That the person reading it feels comfortable just going through your content uh, and continue reading. Uh, then you know um, that the content works, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick search. So I'm in um, SME Rush and I just kind of put their name in. And then, uh, let's pull, pull out their domain. So this is a tool that you can uh, easily get access to. It's a good research tool. It's a pay tool. It costs quite a bit of money to use, a little bit of money to use up front. So there's other tools that you can use such as Google Planner, um, and then uh, just type, uh, you know, um, web traffic tools out there. There's a whole bunch of them. Uh, of course, of course, you can use those tools. Um, let me have this finished loading. Okay, so I'm going to paste the out. There's other tools, like I said, you can use to get the traffic. Uh, there's some uh, not, uh, so maybe Uber suggests you can use try that site out. There's a lot of maybe videos on these already, so I'm not going to go over it. Maybe in the future, if you want me to create a video, I can make a video on some tools that I can I use or some research tools I use. But uh, there's HWS, which costs quite a bit. I think a hundred something dollars, uh, 99 or a hundred dollars. And then there's a SME Rush, which I use. Okay. And both tools are very similar. And these are more premium tools. So if you don't have the funds for it at the beginning, it's okay. You can use the free tools. So look at this site has about 64 DR, very, very high domain rating and 1.9 million. Uh, views um, uh, per month and this this may be double because this is usually underreported by these sites in the past two years you can see that their traffic is kind of stay steady you know went up as much as 2 million and now come come back down to 1.9 um, so it's a lot of traffic that they have so you can see that uh, most of their, their content is all review thousands and thousands of pieces of content review um, and then, you know, they have almost you know, a lot of uh, organic keywords that are on the top. Okay, so you can see that they contain 65% um, informational content and 20% uh, transitional. And commercial is only 9%. Surprisingly, I'm surprised that it's only so little uh, of the content. Um, okay, and... So a really good site, and let's uh, let me review. Let's look at their um, uh, organic searches again, and it's which pages and which keywords are ranking the highest. Okay, so this page is good. The organic search tab has um, it can show the position, right? So it can shows you which keywords are ranking. Um, it shows you which keywords are ranking the highest. Oh, well, actually, we want to choose the U.S. traffic, not just U.K. traffic. Okay, so it shows us which keywords are ranking, and then you can see that their own site uh, is uh, ranking quite good. And then, but these are the keywords you can see right here: volume. Let's just do it. By so, yeah, a good way to find out what your competitors are doing is using a tool. Okay, so this pit. Okay, this is a review on the, this class. So look at this: three hundred thousand people. Uh, look at this, and probably a lot of people. After they look at it, they may even click the link to go buy it. You know, so so definitely for sure that they. Um, so the same way they organize this this article that, as the other ones, I'm not going to go too much into detail, but you can always come to this site and look at the way they structure it, okay? Um, their, their content. Okay, so this one is another one. It's, um, it's a review of the watches, okay? Oh, so somehow they're ranking for this keyword right here. So Best Buy. So the, somehow the best buy hours are this the main top keyword that it ranks for uh, under this category of uh, this one, the Corolas, uh, whatever, Corolas Pace Review. So it's amazing that this one can get so much. 
uh, traffic. It must must they must talk about Best Buy in, in the article somewhere, and they got that keyword rank. Um, okay, so let's look at the let's look at the SERPs on this one. Okay, so United States two hundred forty thousand, Canada forty thousand. So how much does Best Buy pay in an hour? And Best Buy hours. I'm surprised that this ranks for those keywords. But of course it ranks for not just that keyword, it ranks actually for thousands of, I mean, hundreds of other keywords within that same category. Um, okay, so you can see these other sites that are competing against it. So somehow Best Buy is here. Yeah, so I don't know why they're ranking this keyword that high, but it's kind of a mystery to me. Um, okay, let's look at the scripts here. Okay, this is the SERP, so this is what it's ranking for. Why is it so long? Okay, so Narco, okay, maybe this is the brand. I have no idea why, why this came up with that. Um, okay, so let's see this one. Okay, so you can see that they are um, just blowing it out of the water. So many one word words that they're just ranking for. So I think they just build up so much authority and they're just ranking these very competitive keywords that are just way up there. So you can do the same thing, but it requires time to build up your website to this level. I think any site can become this level if you, um, if you spend the time and the money. And sometimes you need a lot of content that you write just to get up to this level. Okay, so another thing that you want to check is look at the competitors. So if you want to find additional um, uh, competitors that are doing the same thing that they're doing, is it come to a competitor tab and it shows you all the competitors, how many keywords they rank. So like this one, Backcountry and REI. REI is a well, uh, business already, so they're okay. So this one, Gear Junkie, maybe another affiliate site. Let's click on this one and see what they do. So it's always good to. You know, uh, check the competitor and see other competitors that are doing the same thing. So this one is the same. It's another review site. So you see one thing can lead to another, right? You can uh, take one site and it can lead you to other sites that are doing similar things, reviews. So this one is getting a lot of traffic, to, I'm assuming. Um, so this, this one has... So this one has the same thing. Talks about topics, reviews, and then guides. Uh, buyers guides, uh, features, videos. Let's just look, look at one of these articles for this site. I mean, this one's kind of a little awkward, harder to navigate. Um, so these are more informational articles here. Hitchhikers F22. So these are very specific articles. Uh, Adventure grilling. Um, so you can see how their site is structured. It's a little bit different than the other sites. So, you know, there's no one way to, to what they call it, to skin a cat. There's many ways to do it. So they look like a link to REI, Amazon, and Hitch. So they have many options for you to choose from. And look how long these titles are. These are like H2s, I think. Uh, let me look at my tool here. I have a tool called um, SEO Minion that allows me to just quickly uh, see all the H H2s of the site. Okay, so you have... Um, H1 is the header here, H3, H3, yeah, the way they organize it is um, yeah, very funky the way they set up this. They don't have any H2s at all. Yeah, so yeah, I don't know how this site is organized. It's kind of very done sloppily. Normally you have an H1, then you would do H2, and you have an H3, and then you have H5, but he kind of just jumps around on H2, and then up H5, and then H5, and H5, H2, and then H5, H5, so following an h2 should be an h3 but it jumps to an h5 and an h6 and it goes back to an h3 so it's very funky so so this site is very uh, interesting site the way it's structured but um by all means the site is ranking so let me look at the traffic real quick so we can see the... let's see if we can see what this competitor is doing here oh it's just leading me back to the site okay so let me pull it up so let me open a new
So I opened these guys up in the new tab. You can see, wow, amazing. They got almost 700,000 uh, views also. Um, and also their ranking is very high, even higher than the other one, the authority, the page authority. So these guys are explosive. Look at them. Almost, uh, but not as traffic as the other site. Uh, but definitely uh, they're way up there in terms of traffic. Uh, let's look at how many pages that they have. So we can just go from site to site. Sometimes you can find a lot of information just looking at sites. So this is a good way to review your competitors and gather information on how you want to structure sites, how you want to structure your content, and then see find something that you like that you may uh, that you may um, may best fit you and falls it within your range of how you would like to do stuff. So if you do this, this will um, really enhance. Um, uh, your, um, you know, your, your learning. Uh, the best way to learn is to learn from others. Um, so learn from other sites. So this guy is even more crazy. He has over 13,000 articles. So he's definitely an authority in this uh, niche that they're in, whatever they're doing. So good job on that. Um, and of course, it doesn't. It's not cheap to to get to this level. I right? have this much content. You can have a whole team of a, a full-time content writers and things like that. So let's, let's see how the keywords are ranking. So 2.7 for Dick Sporting Good. Wow. Uh, volume. I'm not sure if they're getting this much volume to, for them. But uh, okay, so it looks like, okay, I'm actually on the United States. Okay, so look, they're getting a pocket knife. So look at the main keyword is pocket knife. It's something that they're getting a lot on. Flashlights and hunting boots something that they're getting a lot of traffic on. So 60,000, 30,000, 22,000. Um, so yes, definitely uh, learn from others and uh, learn from uh, how people are um, are building up their sites. You can see the gear junkie is kind of done a little different than, um, uh, than, than outdoor gear, a gear lab. See the way that the two sites are structured. So I'm loading it. So I'm going back to the home page and you can see so their homepage is done like this, and their homepage is done like this. Um, you know, like I said, there's no there's no one way of doing things. You don't need to um, just take the best of what you can gain from another site and learn from it and develop your your method and your, your ways of it, how you want to structure things. So, anyways, I hope this uh, video has been positive, this review uh, for you of these sites. Um, so, you know, follow me and um, uh, learn. How you can build your own site great passive income you don't need to make millions and millions of dollars if you can get five to four five thousand dollars to start it would be a big difference for many of you so i hope that uh, this video is a help to you so don't forget to subscribe uh, hit that like button and also um, uh, uh, leave a comment on the below of any questions that you may have and any videos that you would like me to do and see in the future so this is a quick uh, site review of how I scan um, websites and how I scan competitors in the, the niches that I'm in. Uh, all right, thank you for watching. You have a wonderful day.